Good evening. I'm Reverend Barbara A. Singer, and I want to welcome you here this evening to the Church by the Seas meditation. I invite you to find a comfortable place in which to sit, or perhaps you'd rather lay down. And I invite you to give yourself this time, this gift, this opportunity to be with the Holy. So often in our lives and in our world, we seek answers. The answers we often seek can be found in prayer, and then in listening to the answers. And tonight, we have that opportunity through words and silence and music to seek and to find. And so let us begin the evening with prayer. There are moments in our lives when turbulence is calmed, when the growth of hope seems miraculous, when hazy images of peace turn into clear possibilities, when promise is present. These are moments of grace, and they bear witness to the wonder of God's love for us. Let us now, through prayer and listening, begin to see hope and find wisdom. Amen. Let us close our eyes, take some deep breaths, in through the nose and out through the mouth and find a rhythm. Focusing on our breath and listening to this music. Whispering of changes and ending 
things I feared And I couldn't go back And I wouldn't go under So I rode to the sand In the foam and the thunder No splash from the wave I dance to the skies Where the sun makes me vapor And weightless I rise And I'm carried to places I never would know Through the power of letting go Tonight, I want to invite us to listen to the words from the Old Testament, two pieces of scripture, one from Isaiah and one from Psalms. The first from Isaiah says, all you inhabitants of the world, you who live on the earth, 
When a signal is raised on the mountains, look. When a trumpet is blown, listen. And from the Psalms, trust in God and do good. Commit your way to the holy. Be still before God and wait patiently. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. But wait for the Lord. Tonight, I invite us to reflect on the conflicting ideas presented within these two pieces of scripture. On the one hand, we are told to be still and know God. And on the other, we are told that when the trumpet is blown, we are to listen. Oftentimes, when we are still in the quiet, our minds begin to race. Worry and anxiety can filter into our thoughts and it becomes quite challenging for us to hear God. And so in scripture we hear so often that when God is present, the trumpets blow. Consider how this sound would break through our thoughts and turn our attention away from all those worldly things and bring it into communion with the holy. Using a combination of sound, silence, and word. Let us listen to God. Let us begin by focusing on the body and the breath. If you have not found that comfortable, quiet place, I invite you to do so at this moment. And take some deep cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Several times. And focus your attention on the words, be still. Breathing in and out. Be still. In and out. Noticing tension in the body. Breathing out all that tension. Breathing in God's healing presence. Breathe out all stress, all strain, all discomfort. Breathe in relaxation, contemplation. Now envision a trumpet. Often we hear them at Easter calling us to worship. And the trumpets sound.
Continue to breathe. And picture your heart. Consider it a flower blooming, opening its petals as the sound of the horn blows, opening to God. And all God has to say. But if God is to come into our hearts, we must let go of all those things that block the way. So breathe and let go of fear. Breathe in the knowledge that God is with you and breathe out your concern about tomorrow or the next moment or yesterday. Breathe and breathe out any anxiety. Breathing in the knowledge that God is with you and you are safe in God's arms. And all is well. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe out anger. The desire for retribution or simply to be right. And breathe in the knowledge that God is love and that God has created all children and our focus must be on reflecting that love. Breathe out all those who have hurt you. All those you disagree with. all those you judged and breathe in God's love and God's light. Breathe out Sadness. And breathe in the knowledge that God desires joy for your life. God desires you to know peace and well-being.
Continue to breathe. Now invite God to be with you in your heart. Picture the holy, the light, the spirit. Christ close to you, within you. See that reflection, feel that peace. And ask God to aid you in whatever you need to change in your life. Whatever areas in which you feel promotes anger. Angst. Anxiety. Sadness. Consider the people or situations that tend to stir those feelings and emotions. And pray for them. The horn, the shofar, the trumpet that we heard tonight and we hear spoken of in scripture so frequently is a sound that's meant to awaken our spirits. And so tonight, let us awaken to God's purpose. peace, and God's love. And as we awaken, let us go forth into the world bringing that same spirit of light and love so that we might illuminate the world we live in.
ask God, what actions do you wish me to take? What desires do you have for my life at this moment? What thoughts no longer serve you, God? What ideas and beliefs must I change? And in the stillness, believe that God guides us every day. regardless of our age or our backgrounds or our circumstances, God will use us to better our lives and those around us. But our purpose is found in the stillness in the quiet and in love. Let us take some time now to reflect and listen as we feel and hear God. in the stillness.
I hope you found this meditation helpful. And as you go into this week, I pray that the peace and the love that is Christ will be felt and seen by you. Because this evening we began by discussing the Jewish holidays in honor of our brothers and sisters in the Jewish community, I want to lift up as our closing prayer these words by Anne Frank, a very wise and devout child. She writes, and we shall pray. In spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. I simply cannot build up my hopes on a foundation consisting of confusion, misery, and death. I see the world gradually being turned into a wilderness. I hear the ever-approaching thunder, which will destroy us too. I can feel the suffering of millions. And yet, if I look up into the heavens, I think it will be all right. And that cruelty will end and that peace and tranquility will return again. In the meantime, I must uphold my ideals. For perhaps the time will come when I shall be able to carry them out. Amen. And so though Anne carried them out in word, but could not indeed, let us go about our days, our weeks, our lives, considering her words and acting in ways that are forgiving, loving, hopeful, bringing peace and the light of Christ wherever we go. May it be so. Good evening.